Welcome to the second film evening as part of the 2020 Rush Hour Events Programme, put together by Manx Electric Railway Online and the Isle of Man Steam Railway Volunteers. This commentary is pre-recorded, but you'll be able to join in via the chat function to the side of the screen, and members of the team will be getting involved in the discussion too. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The MER was one of the pioneering electric railways in the British Isles. However, it has seen its fair share of steam locomotives across the years. We're taking a look at the seven locomotives that have appeared on the line over the last 125 years. And we've got both video footage and photos to share with you. We start in 1895, and the construction of the new tramway to the summit of Snaefell. Famously built in only seven months, this was accomplished by the use of the most powerful locomotive on the island, the Manx Northern Railway's number no. 4, Caledonia. The 10-year-old engine had spent its life hauling heavy trains from the mines at Foxdale, before being hired to the Snaefell Mountain Railway Association in April 1895, and delivered to Laxey in early May. Conditions on the mountain were rough for Caledonia, its crew, and two Manx Northern Railway open wagons, which were also hired to the contractors building the line. With the mountain tramway built to 3 foot 6 inch gauge, the line was temporarily laid at 3 foot gauge for Caledonia, but the poor quality of this construction and the steep gradients took their toll. Caledonia suffered extensive damage to its springs and steam pipes during operation, as well as a runaway shortly after its arrival. The hire was planned to end in July, but building work overran, and both locomotives and wagons returned to the Manx Northern in early August 1895, but not before operating the first passenger service on the line for visiting businessmen and railway invited guests, with seats fitted to the two open goods wagons, Sadly, no photographs are known from this period, despite rumours of them existing. If you know different, please let us know. We've now had our first taste of steam on the mountain, but what about the MER itself? Let's move forward to 1898 and the construction of the electric line from Laxey to Balor. This was the largest single extension in the history of the Manx Electric Railway and needed the help of not one, but three steam locomotives. The first locomotive was the Isle of Man Railway's No. 2, Derby, built for the opening of the line to Peel in 1873. It arrived in Laxey in the same way that Caledonia had three years earlier, by sea from Ramsey and towed up the valley by traction engines. The locomotive is understood to have been based at Bulgham in a purpose-built engine shed and used between here and Laxey before being returned to the Isle of Man Railway in early summer 1898. At the below end of the construction works, the Manx Northern Railway's No. 1, Ramsey, was leased to the Isle of Man Electric Power and Tramway Co. This sharp Stuart design arrived on the island in 1879 for the opening of the Manx Northern Line and was towed across Ramsey on the 21st of March 1898, along with four open wagons. Another temporary engine shed was built at Below, and the locomotive worked south from there, being returned to the Manx Northern by early August. The third locomotive was different in that it was the only steam locomotive to have been owned by the MER itself. Number 719 was built by Andrew Barclay of Kilmarnock in 1892 and bought by the Isle of Man Electric Power and Tramway Co. in February 1898. As well as the Below line construction, this locomotive and 45 open wagons were used to complete outstanding work on the line in late 1898 and the construction of the Ramsey extension the following year. Number 719 remained on the MER until it and the 45 wagons were sold in October 1900, being bought by the Douglas Corporation. It was more construction work for the loco, being moved west to help build the new reservoir at West Baldwin. It was moved in January 1901, but not before it was demonstrated to the Douglas Corporation on a passenger working between Derby Castle and Laxey in December 1900, 
the first steam hauled passenger service on the MER. That's where the story ended for 90 years. However, in the 1990s, the centenary of the Manx Electric Railway was fast approaching and big plans were put in place to celebrate. To mark its place in the line's history, it was proposed to return steam to the Manx Electric in 1993. The frames of Isle of Man Railway No. 8, Fenella, were transported to Laxey on the 17th of July 1991 and propelled from there to Dune Quarry to prove a steam locomotive could handle the tight curves on the electric railway. These tests proved successful and No. 8 was quickly returned to the steam railway the same day. Steam on the Manx Electric was publicly announced and an official launch day was planned for the 6th of December 1991. By then, number four, Lock, had been chosen to haul the trains and it was moved to Laxey. A loaded test run on the 5th with MER winter trailers 57 and 58 proved successful and a publicity event took place the next day with Lock joined by MER and Snaefell cars at Laxey station before invited guests boarded for a trip to Dune Quarry. Winter saloon car number 19 assisted with shunting at the destination. Work began to prepare the line for regular steam haulage. Dune Quarry gained a runround loop and water tower, and facilities were provided at Laxey Car Shed for number four. The centenary year arrived, and Lock made its first of four journeys to the MER that year in March 1993 with crew training taking place from March the 29th to April the 2nd, and two private passenger trips taking place on the latter day. Finally, the time had come, and the first ever public steam hauled passenger trains on the Manx Electric took place on the 11th and 12th of April. Lock remained at Laxey until early May, working services to Dune on May the 2nd and 3rd before returning to the steam railway. The challenging two-mile climb to Bulgham at a maximum gradient of 1 in 24 gave Lock a workout and resulted in some stunning photos and video shared across the railway world. Throughout 1993, Lock spent 25 days in operation on the line, hauling passenger trains between Laxey and Dune Quarry, as well as appearing in the MER Centenary Day celebrations on the 7th of September. A one-off freight train featuring MER wagons 8, 11, 21 and Trailer 52 ran the following day. Lock's final trips that year took place on October the 30th and 31st, the final steam hauled services in the MER's centenary year. <coughs> the year of railways brought unprecedented crowds of enthusiasts to the Isle of Man and plans were put in place to celebrate the Snaefell Mountain Railway centenary in 1995. Steam had returned to the Manx Electric, but what about returning it to the summit of Snaefell? Almost a hundred years after its work on the mountain, Caledonia was nearing the end of a full overhaul in the Isle of Man Railway's workshops, and its chassis was moved to Laxey for trials on the 22nd of February 1994. These were successful, and efforts turned to taking the Manx Northern Loco back to Snaefell. An additional rail at three-foot gauge was laid from Bungalow to the summit throughout the summer, and both Locomotive and MER Trailer 57 were fitted with fell brake equipment to work on the steep mountain route. Cali was first steamed on the 4th of December 1994, and was at the Bungalow just two days later, undergoing braking tests with Snaefell Car Free. 
The 7th of December saw three journeys take place for local and international press, returning to the highest point on the island for the first time in 99 years. Some modifications to the fell break were required, and Caledonia returned for further trials in late March and early April 1995. After extensive testing, permission was granted, and steam hauled services from Bungalow to the summit began on the 21st of April as part of the Snaefell Line Centenary Year celebrations, and operated with MER Trailer 57 on selected dates throughout the year. The sound of Caledonia charging the 1 in 12 gradient was something to behold. This wasn't the only place that Steam ventured this year. Both Lock and Caledonia saw use on the MER between Lexi and Dune Quarry. With number four in operation over the Easter and Maybank holiday weekends, this time hauling Trailer 58 and Disabled Access Trailer 56. Cali took a break from its Snaefell duties to perform three days of passenger trips to Dune Quarry in mid-August, as well as a demonstration freight train the next day. Locke returned for one last private journey to Dune Quarry on the 2nd of October, the last time a steam locomotive has worked north of Laxey to date. A further year of steam operation was planned for the 1998 Steam 125 event, celebrating 125 years of the Isle of Man Railway. The chassis of Locke returned to the MER on the 4th of March 1998 for tests, but derailed on the freshly relayed track work just north of Laxey. This put the entire operation at risk, until the question was asked, if we can't go north, why not go south? Lock chassis was returned to the MER again on the 22nd of April to test potential operations south from Laxey to Fairy Cottage on the Landside Line. Propelled by Car 27, this trial proved completely successful and publicity was launched for another year of steam on the Manx Electric. Such an event needed a special celebration, and the return to service of the IMR's original steam locomotive, number 1, Sutherland, of 1873, was just that. Arriving on the MER in early May, the first steam passenger services to run south from Laxey began on the 7th of May 1998. Public runs took place throughout May and August, with number one running parallel with the MER's own number one, which was also used to shunt Trailer 58 at Fairy Cottage. Several photo opportunities were staged at Laxey, featuring MER and Snaefell cars posed alongside Sutherland, and photographic run paths also took place. Sutherland returned to the Manx Electric for one last journey, a private hire in October 1998, running parallel with illuminated car number 9. And that's where the story ends. For now, it's planned to return Caledonia to the Manx Electric Railway this year as part of the Snaefell Mountain Railway 125 celebrations. Check out the link in the description for more information on this year's enthusiast events on the Isle of Man. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and the events hosted so far as part of the Rush Hour Online Enthusiast event. 
This presentation wouldn't have been possible without the generous contribution of footage, photographs and information from the many enthusiasts who are listed on the screen now. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the Isle of Man's Heritage Railway soon. <laughs>